Welcome to the second part of Enterprise Architecture Advanced. Here we will try to create some fragments of Enterprise Architecture using uh, Enterprise Architecture 2 ADO IT Community Edition. Uh, this tool is more sophisticated to compare with Archie tool we used at the basic level. Now uh, we will try to make Enterprise Architecture with a tool which not only allows to represent knowledge, but also uh, has built-in algorithms for pro processing knowledge which you have put in the tool. Now please download the ADO IT tool, install it, and when you are ready, then proceed further. The link here. When you download the tool, please be careful and follow all its instructions. Uh, it will be different how to proceed for you, uh, depending whether you have already a database server on your computer or not. Therefore, follow all guidelines very carefully. Information how to use the tool below here. You can go through this information too. When you have installed tool and uh, try to run it, it will require login. Um, but actually, as this is community edition, the login is not needed. And um, you just wait. The tool will proceed further after some time, short time. In case you have problems and something doesn't go, uh, you can contact me, but uh, please take into consideration that it might be not so convenient if you start this work in the last day before the deadline, and therefore it is suggested that you um, do it at least one week before the deadline. And now please install the tool so that we can proceed further. When you have installed tool and started to use it, the first thing you see is this screen uh, with um, different help information uh, for the things which you can do with the tool. And um, you can return back to this uh, palette of different uh, possibilities or help possibilities at any time when you are using the tool just by pushing here uh, on this window and uh, then choosing ADO IT CE start page. This is start page from which you can uh, navigate to different help items. Let us get acquainted with the tool in two steps. Now, the first step. Uh, the first step will be that we will play with the model which is already there in the tool and because installation of the tool comes together with the model uh, which is already put into it. And then the second step, in the second step we will uh, try to create our own model. So now let us play with existing models. When you will look at these models you will see that the icons which are used for different um, things to be represented are a bit different with the ones we learned from Archimate language. And uh, if you if you put the, the mouse on the icon, you will see what each uh, of these icons mean. However, the difference is not so big and you will learn fast how to uh, use icons and which icon goes for what. So the first thing is we are playing with existing models. You can look at them, what is inside there. In the palette, here you can see that some models are with icons and some are just with magnifiers. These with icons, these are created by the person who uses the tool. However, these ones are already generated by the tool. So we can see that this tool is already an um, advanced one and very useful because it gives an opportunity not only to represent the model, but also to analyze it. Uh, for example, there is application portfolio, the diagram which is automatically generated by the tool. 
Now, let us play with the analysis model. Uh, to do this, we choose uh, one of the existing models which are created by the person who developed it and then choose analysis button here and when we have done this we will see here uh, analysis uh, functions which can be used by predefined queries by ad hoc queries and also uh, we can use self-defined queries and for this uh, community edition we will try predefined queries so i am uh, clicking on predefined query and then I see that I have choice uh, between enterprise architecture management and IT governance. So this ADO IT tool, uh, it is useful not only for enterprise um, architecture management, but also just for IT governance. It can be used also for these purposes. I choose enterprise architecture management. And then what you see on the screen is that, again, I can choose something that is not um, so much of choices, but from the technology management point, I can choose to see what out-of-date technology components are being used by architecture objects. So also I can uh, show that I am interested in um, Ado Money Bank for this as an architecture segment. Now I'm pushing this one and I can execute the query. When query is executed, then I can see that here are two elements which are out of date. So you see, uh, when we are gradually putting information into the tool and we know uh, how long each component is supposed to be working and many other things about these different components and different um, things used in enterprise architecture, then we can query and find out this information. Now please play more with analysis model and uh, there are some hints which you have to know to work with them successfully. The first hint is that when you generate new view, you can save it. Um, also, it is important that if you want to go for the next type of analysis, you first um, close current view. And also, it is important to know that when you see all of these possibilities, which are here and see different things on the screen, you know that you can you can play with uh, with the size of columns. Sometimes it's quite important. And now we can proceed to the second step in our acquaintance with the Ado IT tool. So far we have played with the existing model, and now let us proceed with step two and create some enterprise architecture artifacts by ourselves. To do this, we go for new, uh, choose mo new models, and then create new model group. And um, this is good when you have created this new model group, which is called, I, I called it Colibri. Uh, then you push also refresh button and proceed further. We give the name for the model, say where to put the model in the um, model library of the tool, and then push button create. So now we are trying to, cre to create a business architecture model. Uh, here we can see different icons. Uh, this icon stays for capability. Uh, this represents architecture segment. Here we have process, function, uh, we have node, uh, we have data entity. Uh, here down there are there are different relationships which we can use. And also we have block and if we put icon into the block it keeps uh, different uh, icons together, different elements together so that we know that they are 
um, is sort of logically related. So, for making a new element or, or introducing new element, we just drag the element here and uh, change its name to the name which we want. And that uh, is suppose we have created already this. And now we want to these elements and now we want to introduce a relationship. Uh, to introduce, introduce relationship, it is uh, necessary to give right click on the object, then you say um, new relation and then opens the window which uh, gives you a possibility for specific relations which you have chosen. And, uh, be careful when you are using this window because it tells you a lot. It shows um, that from create learning object capability um, that the, you go from, from one element, you go to another element and here you can choose one or more elements and say create and then you are creating, creating specific relationships. So there is create learning, uh, create learning content uh, as more general element, and there are specific elements, create learning content number 13 and create learning content number 19. And uh, we see, see, see here that universities are creating learning content, and this learning content can be different one, so now we are making this relationship create and you see that now we know that these are sub uh, sub elements of create learning content now i want to tell that rtu creates learning content uh, with number 13 and for this i am clicking on rtu uh, clicking right right mouse click the open opens and there is create new relation from uh, assigned architecture segment from here and I am saying that uh, it has to go to content number 13 and I am pushing here create and you see there is a link created already so we have now created a, a small fragment try to follow uh, follow what is on the screen and create also the same thing in your mo uh, your tool. Uh, here are some more things. Uh, there is also another university, Hamburg University of Technology. Uh, this is who is which is creating um, learning content number nine. Uh, we also have introduced process create model, and uh, we have introduced function create videos. Also, we have introduced this block where we have put one, uh, one data object in, uh, which is enterprise architecture. When you are ready with this, we can proceed further. What we will do further, we will try to see how to use uh, one uh, very nice element, which is here in this model. Uh, in this tool. When we do right click on the object, we see here uh, a possibility to use a notebook. And when we open this notebook, then we see that there is a lot of things which we can tell about the element for which we have used this notebook. You can enter information specifically about this element and also you can enter information about relationships with other elements. Uh, you see here in this uh, in this um, um, icon plus and we, when you push plus you can see uh, what already exists in the enterprise architecture which can be useful for building relationships and if you discover that something is missing so you go to specific model add things which you need and then return back and make the relationship and here you can see that this element 
is created by or assigned to RTU. Also, there is a possibility to show for which processes this is input or output element. Yeah, this is bigger picture you can see better. Architecture segments and you can click to RTU and there will be uh, put into the tool information that this is this is related one to another. And if you have built this relationship already, uh, then uh, then you can uh, uh, then you can see it already in the um, in the dictionary. In the notebook, not in the dictionary, in the notebook. So we have learned how to create business architecture elements and we also learned how to use notebook. Now let us create some information systems architecture elements. In uh, Archimedes language, we refer to this as to application level. So information systems architecture elements. Uh, here you can see uh, to do this we choose here information systems architecture. Write down that this will be Colibri information systems architecture and create the model. You can see here a small information systems architecture fragment. Uh, we have here a uh, Windows Office application, ADO IT Community Edition. Uh, we have this data, which uh, is Enterprise Architecture Advanced model. And uh, we can see that to create this model, um, this module, I need to use ADO IT Community Edition. And to get screenshots for this model, I will need not only ADO ITC Community Edition, but also I will need Windows Office uh, for putting for putting them into the um, PowerPoint slides. So in the notebook I can I can put these things in. Uh, for Enterprise Architecture Advanced I can tell that it is part of the um, enterprise architecture and put it into the notebook. The next one is technology model. In the same way, we can create also technology model. And um, here we can see the technology model for uh, our uh, Colibri project that again is very, very small. Uh, fragment of it and what you can see on the screen uh, there are Albuk University server and uh, personal computer of RTU teacher and uh, we know that this server belongs to uh, Albuk University and, but if I want to uh, upload the files for Colibri uh, then I have to use uh, this Albuk University server um, from my personal computer. And when I'm telling in the notebook details about Olberg University as an architecture segment, I can tell that, for example, it is a part of bigger segment, which is universities. And also other information can be put in here. Also, we can create organizational model. And you can see here a small fragment of organizational model, which shows that there is a block a collaborative project in which participate these three universities, Alborg University, Riga Technical University, uh, Hamburg University of Technologies, and Pro of course there are more universities, but we have represented only these three, and uh, RTU teachers uh, as, a, as, a, as a performance is part of Riga Technical University, and um, there is specific role, enterprise architecture teacher. Now remember that relationships matter, what we learned in the previous uh, 
a part of Enterprise Architecture Advanced. And now please revisit all notebooks for all elements which we have created and try to put all relationship, relationships which you can imagine. So go for each element, open notebook and put relationships. When it is done, we will try to generate. We will try to generate new relationships. Uh, I'm sorry, we will try to generate new models uh, from the existing ones. Oh, there is some example how you can use the notebook. So, now we will try to generate new views. So we will use this capability of the tool to process the information which is put in it. So architect is putting information or knowledge in the tool and the tool afterwards is able to process it and give out new information for us. So for example, we will take this create learning content number 13 and generate view uh, from the possible views, we will choose this one and um, this will be capability required architecture resources. By clicking on this, we get a new model which shows us these relationships which actually we didn't uh, graphically put anywhere. The information exists in the tool, uh, but it is not graphically represented uh, by us originally. So tool gives out it. And when we have this type of representation, we can learn about the capability, who is responsible for the capability, uh, which applications are needed for it, and what else is needed in general for achieving a particular capability. And when we look carefully here, uh, we can find out that there is something missing. For example, uh, PowerPoint presentation preparation function is missing. And video creation facilities are missing. So by this use, we also can see how well we have developed our enterprise architecture. And uh, when we have found some, uh, some gaps in, 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 in uh, what we wanted to represent, and we go back and put more elements in. So we have learned how to use Enterprise Architecture Tool ADO IT Community Edition. Of course, ADO IT Community Edition or ADO IT is not the only Enterprise Architecture Management Tool. There are many other tools. If you want to see the spectrum of these tools, uh, the spectrum of the best tools, uh, you can go to Magic Quadrant, which is uh, made by Gartner Company. Uh, Gartner Company each year publishes uh, the best, the list of best tools. And uh, this list is almost the same each year, but still there are some changes. So the list for 2014 is available in the link which you see here. There are also other tools like, for example, Cameo Enterprise Architecture provided by No Magic Company. Uh, this tool is with reasonable price. I must say that many enterprise architecture tools, they are pretty expensive. So you always have to think which tool to take depending on what are the needs and possibilities of the company. Um, but there are also some freeware tools like Essential Project and if it is sufficient uh, for specific company, these tools also can be used. Uh, this is the end of the second part of Enterprise Architecture Advanced. And now we can proceed to the exercise. How to do the exercise? It will be described in the next slide. The exercise is as follows. Uh, you are expected to extend the models which you already have created in Ado IT Community Edition with at least 15 new elements. And also you are expected to establish the relationships using notebook and uh, generate at least three 
views. Um, these uh, models and with new elements and views that you have created, uh, you are welcome to export and put in the Word document. And you can use for this uh, screenshots or you can right click on model and then go for drawing area and export them by the tool, whatever option you use, everything works. The main thing is that we can see what you have developed. Also, please answer the questions which are given in the supplementary word document, which you can see in the model for this part of advanced uh, level of enterprise architecture management. And you have to upload the document in Moodle when you have created models and answered the questions so that we can do our evaluation. And this is the end of Enterprise Architecture Advanced. See you in some other activities of the Colibri program.